Imagine, you climb into the back of your truck bed, you get all cozy in your sleeping bag, and start drifting off to sleep. And suddenly, you awaken to a stranger opening the back window of your cap. Or even worse, you're all snug as a bug and the wolfman catches your scent. You might as well have Eat Me written on those little piggies. Are you gonna become just another statistic? Not on my watch. This scary scenario would definitely get the old heart racing. If only you could have locked the back window from the inside. That may have been enough to deter these would-be predators to move on to an easier target. Or at the very least, given you some advanced warning to take other appropriate action, instead of just wiping the sleep from your eyes. Truck bed camping has been a growing trend over the years. Not only does it provide a great alternative to tent camping, it can also take the place of a full-sized camper, depending on how it is designed. This is the case for my build, or what we like to lovingly refer to as the tramper. There are so many benefits to having everything packed into this itty bitty space, like being able to take off on a whim for a few days at virtually any location, on or off road, and really only worry about bringing along food or clothes. This is not to say that I don't ever miss a few of the creature comforts provided with an RV, such as security. When I say security, many folks think about some means of self-protection. If you choose to do so, just make sure you research your rights and the laws pertaining to defending yourself in a vehicle that can be driven away versus an RV that is hooked up at a campground somewhere, since they can be quite different. For the purpose of this video, we are solely going to discuss the ability to secure oneself inside the bed of your truck, since they don't typically come equipped with a man door, lockable handle, and deadbolt. Also, if you've ever had a scary encounter with a four-legged or a two-legged creature while camping, tell us how you handled it in the comments below. We'd love to learn from it. My truck is a 2014 Ram 2500 with a six and a half foot bed. I purchased a 2015 Lear 100 RCC cap and opted for the solid panel side doors. The challenge for me was my cap could only be secured from the outside. Since I sleep inside, this was no good. Some caps have a keyless entry system for the back window. This would be ideal unless your battery died while you were locked inside. I can't speak for a single center handle style since I've only owned a cap with a left and right handle. All this to say, if you have this style, stick around and I'll show you how I made mine lockable from the inside. Let's start with the back window. When unlocked, each handle rotates 90 degrees lifting and lowering a metal arm that swings behind the frame of the cap holding the window securely. The first thing I did was installed a piece of aluminum to the frame of the cap on each side to beef it up. Then I fabricated an aluminum bracket that slides over the locking arm when in the secured position and snaps into place with the help of a couple neodymium magnets. Once nestled into place, the front portion of the bracket slides under the gas cylinder mount and keeps the locking arm from rotating to the unlocked position. I felt this was much more secure than using a rope or chain to anchor the locking arm as I've seen in other builds. Let me show you how I made them. Now let's take a look at the side doors. I opted for the solid doors versus the windows for a few reasons. I felt the solid doors would be more secure than the glass and yet still give the ability to open them during nice weather. They're definitely a bit more insulated than the glass and I didn't have to make curtains for them. The biggest problem with the side doors besides not being able to lock them from the inside was the latch was unable to be turned with the handle in the closed position. To overcome this hurdle, I had to remove the handle itself and trim off a section from each side so that it could freely pivot without extending the handle. After the trimming, the handle is now 1 and 5 eighths inch wide. Now onto the locking bracket. 
I cut two pieces of 1 8 inch aluminum, 2 and 1 16th inch wide by 1 and 5 16th inch high. I drilled holes through the aluminum plates and the frame of the side door to attach the plates using two one and a quarter inch long stainless bolts. The assembly order was the bolt, a washer, the first plate, three regular nuts for spacing, the second plate, the door frame, a washer, and a an nylock to keep it all held snug. Once fully assembled, I turned the latch to the locked position and drilled a quarter inch hole to the right and left side of it. Now a one and a half inch by one quarter inch quick release pin can be inserted into the hole on the side the latch swings open to lock it into place. To unlock it, simply move the quick release pin to the opposite hole. Well hopefully we got the gears turning a little bit on how you too can feel more secure while truck camping, whether it's in this jungle or the concrete jungle. If you found this video helpful or you were just entertained by it, please consider hitting the like button. It actually helps the powers to be push it out to more people who may find value in it as well. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. I make more truck camping builder and travel type videos like this one right here. Thanks so much for stopping by and until next time, Godspeed.